just, you know, try to try to uh, keep the faith. Dark uncle, uncle, you better cool it, man. Unfortunately, I, I, if I could time you out right now, I would, but I don't have have a place to get to you. I, I, I can't ignore you. Just put you on ignore if I could. Dark uncle has, has just kind of crossed the line with me. He's, he's put some shit on his website that was not supposed to go out. And that very much upset me. And that's the sort of journalistic integrity that... I, you know, that I look like that he violated. It's just like everyone knows, like, like, dude, if you're, you just don't, you just don't do that to someone. But he did it, so that's that's just like that's crossed the line for me. I can't, I can't tolerate that anymore. So, as far as I'm concerned, he's a he's on very thin ice just in this room. Um, do not go check out his his stuff. It's trash. It's um, it, it, it's speculative. It's um, the editing is is. Amateur at best. Am, I mean, I, I would say I would say maybe maybe take a Photoshop class or something, or a class in editing. I, I don't know what he uses for editing, but it's some of the worst editing I've ever seen. Do not sub to his channel. Did I just see someone sub to his channel? Please stop it. Don't because he, he the guy the guy is relentless. He's like a professional troll. I'm not kidding. I don't know where. I, I'm a little bit nervous because he got some shit. I don't know how he got. That's what bugged me. And all this talk about hacking into computers and stuff. Now I, I know a little bit about computers, but but this guy was was took it too far, because he had some stuff that he basically he basically is like threatening me. He's like threatening to blackmail. He's like, look, I got this. I was like, how did you get that? But apparently, what it is is that I've got we you know I have professional services. When anytime you use a lawyer or an accountant or anybody, you know, yeah, they're a professional you're dealing with, but the people who work for them are employees. They're hourly, and they could watch this channel, and they could do whatever. Apparently, Dark Uncle knows, I don't know how the fuck, but that's the only way I can figure it out. But he got some documents from me that, that I don't know how the hell he got it. Now, he's trying to use that against me, claiming he's going to post it, but if he does, I told him, I told him that same law firm, they're the ones had to have leaked it. So if, if he does post that shit, Dark Uncle, I'm telling you right now, that's that. I mean, you're gonna bring down the law firm. You can bring that. Your friend's gonna lose their job. There's gonna be. I'm gonna go after my own law firm, and then I then then I've got my. Then yeah, you bet we're gonna buy the house next door, right, Dark Uncle? You know what we're gonna call it? We're gonna call it Jedi Rich's Palace. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And you know you're you know where you're gonna be sitting. You're gonna be sitting in, a, in an eight by ten. So I would just suggest. You, you don't, if, if you're going to go around talking to, I don't know how the hell you do this shit, but you've got some video of mine too. I don't know how the fuck you got that either. Excuse my language. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah. You act like you act all tough. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. You, you I don't know. You must have some connections with the law. You must have somebody in your family or some connection that you know as a judge or somebody, because there's no way you could have got that. There's no way. And, 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 and that got released to me. Yeah. I, the Christie do not, I mean, I, the Christie's another hater, but she, but she's just a hater. I mean, she's like complaining about like the walls and stuff. Yeah. It, whatever you guys do, I, the Christie and dark uncle do not collab because those two right there, I can see like a really, really powerful force right there. Like that, that channel, that would be the go-to channel if, if, if. Okay, if, if Dark Christie, because because troll Dark Uncle, yeah, call it Dark Christie, call it Dark Christie, and 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 they're they're very similar. I mean, like like I mean, it's like I don't know what Dark Dark Uncle looks like, but but if you look at his profile pics and you look at I the Christie's profile pics, those two haters, yeah, exactly. We're gonna send this shit to the FBI. You bet. Anyways, those two those two haters right there. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Vanishka, welcome. Um, those two haters right there, uh, my fear is that they would start collaborating. And if they were to do something together between Dark Uncle's knowledge of how to get documents on my shit and I the Christie's, she's actually very, she's actually is a very, she actually is very creative. And, and, and so, I, look, 
she's a hater, but I will give her credit where credit is due. So I had Christy's got a channel that's also a, a, a hater channel. So it's just, uh, <laughs> Say, Dark Uncle, you're getting called out. You are getting called out right now. Look at that. <coughs> I'm not like anyone. I know. You are very independent, but 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 I but okay, listen. I, I'm I the, I think you said it. You can't hate someone unless you love them, right? So therefore, by your own words, you must love me. Therefore, I can appreciate and love your art, even though I hate you. I can't even say the words. I don't even dislike you. I really can't. You, you, the problem is you get in this mode where after a while you can't even hate someone. <laughs> it's like when, like when you realize what Ida Christie said. Ida Christie said, you can't hate someone unless you love them first. And that's true. Because the other feeling would be indifference. You just walk by and be like, ah, and keep going on to, your, to see your loved ones or, you know, to see your lawyer to divorce your 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 hated ones. <laughs> I respect Christy. I respect I respect a lot of people. Um, in fact, I respect everyone. It's just a matter of that that some people you have to deal with them a little differently to protect yourself. Like they don't have any boundary issues, like going over your your walls. But as soon as you try to protect yourself, then all of a sudden they cry boundary all all day long. But that's their attack method. Is that is that they can keep crossing your boundaries. But if you defend your boundaries, they're saying that you have violated their boundaries. As if somehow, you know, you got your fence here and they put their fence over here and you're like, wait a minute, move your fence back. You're like, wait a minute, my boundary's over here. You're like, no, it's not. It's back here. And, and when you, unfortunately, when you push those bullies, they scream and cry like they've never seen anything before. But you have to do it. Christy's not one of those people, of course. Christy, Christy, Christy knows boundaries. She, she's whatever. Wait, sorry, I'm gonna... But Dark Uncle? I'm, I'm, I won't need any more, but... Yeah, hey, I got you. You're plugged out there anyways. There's no sound. It's just okay, the, but, uh, visual. I'm sick because I'm going to go to bed, but I'm... I'm okay, put it on you. Up, and then I'm, I'm going to bed, but... I'm, yeah, okay, I'm cool. Up, awesome. Excellent. Ooh, I love you. Good news. I love you too, hon. <sighs> you don't have a fence. That's good. Yeah, I know. I know. The problem is that this room is turning into a place where people come together to collaborate... And, but whatever, I, I, yeah, I really, really would advise you guys, uh, you know, oh, I advice, what sort of advice can I give? What do I know? What do I know? Okay, let me show you how this works. Do you, do you see the little the new control center here? Look, okay, no, we got four platforms, right? Yeah, hold on. So this is all of these different platforms. Now this right here, that's total, okay? So this is, that's the number in, our, in YouTube, but that's the total on all four. You see, so then you come over here and you can see on the, this platform over here, like right now. Yeah, see, I could look at this one. Right here, see? There you are, say hi, say hi to everybody on Twitter. Hi, 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 Twitter. Hey, Twitter. Okay, good. Okay, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. I'm gonna talk with I'm gonna talk with the church for about twenty more minutes and that's about it. You're wrong, you're wrong. Hey Joy. I am as transparent as choice. Dark Uncle, damn it, I, you're about you're about two minutes away from getting timed out. Hi, C Chester. Good to see you. Good to see you. I don't know what she has the camera on. I gotta change that. Do you want do you want more Jedi Rich? How about how about all Jedi Rich while she gets the other camera set up? Is, or is that just too much Jedi Rich for you? Is that too much? Let me know if this is too much Jedi Rich. If it's too much Jedi Rich, we can we can change something. But I'm gonna wait for her to get her bed thing to go. Okay, you gotta go. How do we what are you looking for? Which channel? Oh, Dark Uncle's channel's trash. I'm serious. Seriously, guys. 
Trixie, I know you're a hater, but it's like you don't even want to go there because it's like the stuff he puts up is, well, first of all, 99% of it's false. The other stuff is illegal. So the shit that is, isn't lies is illegal for him to post. There's no way he could have got that shit unless somehow, and if I ever find out how he did it, and I will, I will, if I ever get, if I ever get my, if I can get my, if I can get my, my two nickels together and rub them, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with Dark Uncle at some point, but that guy, I, I don't know who he is. He, I, I don't know, I don't know how old he is. I don't know if he's 77 or if he was born in 1977 because he reminds me of, do you know what he reminds me of? Uh, do you guys ever see uh, All the President's Men? Like, he's like a journalist like that. Like, who's that guy? Uh, what was, what was, what was that journalist's name? Like, he was the leak and everything. He got all this shit on the presidents, it, uh, on Richard Nixon. And, and, and Richard, it was driving Richard Nixon crazy. Couldn't figure, like the whole Watergate tapes. Got all that shit. How did he get this stuff? What was his name? Does anybody remember what was the name of the guy who... What was that? I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> okay, check it out. So the dude who... Okay, so check it out. So the dude... Let's see what we can find here. Because I got to get to the bottom of this. Who was the leak in all Okay. Okay. Did you guys remember the name of the, the of, of the leak of the leak that brought down the Richard Nixon presidency? Do you guys remember remember his name? It wasn't Dark Uncle, but it was very close to the name Dark Uncle. The name was Deep Throat. Yes, Deep Throat was the name. Do you guys recall that? Deep Throat it was was the journalist who went out to... Oh, let's wait, we forgot. Let me refresh my memory. This, this is how I learn. Okay. In the movie All the President's Men... Okay, it's Bob Woods turn uh, and Carl Bernstein, the reporters, and there's this, uh, there's this, the pseudonym is Deep Throat, and Deep Throat was was a uh, was a, was an associate director of the FBI. Yeah, he finally disclosed his identity in 2005. I'm surprised they haven't made a movie about that. Did they ever make a movie? I mean, I know they made all that presence men, but about the disclosing of his name and all that. Ava the G is live talking about the F. Uh, let me guess, Josie, you're Ava the G. Jedi's don't live with mommy. No, but Jedi's will take care of their mom. No, actually they don't. You're right. <laughs> Anakin, I think Anakin pretty much, I think Anakin had, was probably the ultimate. Do you know who Anakin is? Anakin turned into Darth Vader. And that's what Joy was afraid with me. And that's why we kind of, the, the, it worked with me. Because he was so bitter about his mother that, that he was, he was going to take it to, to the grave with him. And in fact, he did. He almost did. He almost took it to the grave with him. If it wasn't for Luke forgiving his father moments before Anakin died, then yeah, he would he would have gone to hell. He would have gone to hell with all this pain. But instead, he had a chance to apologize and say, "Yeah, I was wrong." It was this big moment. You guys remember it? So yeah, you're right. They they they, they don't live with mommy. They they usually have bad 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 relationships with their parents, <laughs> and they usually and they definitely don't have kids. Jedi can't have kids because if you think about it. Because kids are make 
change everything. It changes everything for a Jedi. They, they can't be concerned about other people or their families. They have to be concerned about their own. I mean, it'd be ridiculous to worry about some other family if you have your own. You take care of your own. So Jedi, if you look in the movies, except for Anakin, do not have kids. And Anakin was the problem. I mean, Anakin was was the one, yeah, he decided to have kids, even though he wasn't supposed to get with Natalie Portman. But he did anyways. So the issue is, wildlife, you, you, you don't know what Deep Throat is? Deep Throat is not a more... Deep Throat is a porn. That's where your head is, see? There's also a journalist named Deep Throat. He, or no, I'm sorry, there, there was two journalists that, that found a source named Deep Throat who worked for the FBI. Obviously, the dude who worked for the FBI liked the movie Deep Throat. So the, the associate director at the FBI referred to himself as Deep Throat because he didn't want to give out his name because he worked for the FBI. He's like leaking all this information to the journalists. Just like whoever is at my law firm is leaking shit to Dark Uncle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So wildlife. So tell me again. Rephrase your, rephrase your comment that you wrote. Because I think you want to stand corrected. Otherwise, that might be pointed directly right back at you. Uh, can someone from my home base come rescue me? Debbie Doll, where are you? I'll come get you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Here's the thing. You guys live like in this weird, perverted, porn sex world. I live somewhere else. My brain is all about revolution, changing the world, doing things, making art. You guys think, like I mentioned Deep Throat and Richard Nixon, all you think is Linda Lovelace in a porn movie. <laughs> yeah, this, you know what, dude, tell you what, do a little Google research because there's, there's more to life than just porn, you guys. <laughs> I know, it's really fun. I know, when you don't get any, it's like, it, it's like the coolest thing on the planet. But trust me, if you're over 30 years old, you should be done with that by now. And if you're not, then you're, you, you might want to see a therapist. Okay. I know, social spy. Anyways, yeah. So is Dark Uncle? Okay, so he, okay, who was the other? Who's the other leak? Who's the other guy? Who, who's the other famous source, right? As Miss Sims pointed out. Or spy that we know of. In our time. Now let's hope, when I mention this guy's name, that wildlife and the haters, you know, obviously the haters are, you know, they live in the gutter. I mean, everything that comes out of their mouth is trash. It's lies. And, you know, it, like they, if you say a word, they immediately think of sex. You know, I mean, they, they're just like so like perverted. I don't blame them. If I was them. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, think about it. <laughs> okay. Dark Uncle got his information from Joy? Possibly. I mean, Joy sometimes just leaks shit all the time. And, and she's, she's dumb enough sometimes. Excuse me. She's not smart enough not to send documents to, like, random email people sometimes. So, yeah, maybe that's how it happened. Yeah, <laughs> not everyone, not everyone. Edward Snowden would be another would be another one. Edward Snowden would be one of one another spy. Now, now wildlife. When I say Edward Snowden, let me guess. You think of molesting a little girl, don't you? Right, because you're sick. You know what I mean. So when I mentioned Deep Throat, all you could think about is my wife. What the hell is, you see what I'm saying? You guys are obsessed with my wife. You're so, I mean, I realize that she is the hottest person on YouTube. I mean, I've seen, I've seen everybody else. She's definitely the hottest person on YouTube in any age bracket. But, 
So yeah, so naturally I get it. Why, if I mention, hey, Richard Nixon and Deep Throat, you immediately think of my wife. Because you're perverted. You know, that's not the way I think. See, I think differently. And a lot of people try to figure out how you think. And we're all trying to figure out how you guys think. We're all trying to figure it out. And it baffles us that all you think about is sex 24 seven. It's all you can think about. You're obsessed with having sex with my wife. Even the women, it's crazy. So they wanna be her. They, they wish they could be her. They wish they could be her. If they would be her, then, you know, I mean, I read the comments on the board. You guys say, when you write to me and, and I get 10 comments saying, oh, no way, that's so gross. Joy's ugly. I'm not jealous of Joy. When I see that, translation, I am so fucking jealous of Joy. Because why would you spend all that time telling me you're not jealous of Joy? Out of bounds, Rich. <laughs> you must think children. <sighs> Are we talking about card uncle? You're, you are, you are. See, Chester, please refrain from using foul language. Streambots are going to kick you out. <laughs> Gaming fairy, you're, you're getting tagged too. Too many spamming signals. All the president's men. Dark Uncle 77, yeah, I know. The, the, guy, is a, the guy is a total freaking spy. Yeah, wildlife, you're perverted, man. All you guys, the shit you guys say, the shit you guys come up with, the stuff you think is ridiculous. Yeah, and, and you know what? Slut shaming my wife is also a form of misogyny, just so you know, wildlife. So the women that come in here and just kind of constantly slut shame and bash my wife, you guys have to go. Sorry, T. Chester, did I go too far? I know. <laughs> hey, Mike Burton, how are you, buddy? He's my lover. He's my lover and my cover. See, Chester, you wonder why so many amazing people have grown to want this to end. What do you mean? Why would you want this to end? But it's weird, Gemini, because we're growing. I mean, it's like I'm getting more viewers every day. So what's next? Again, blue tea, you see, that's, again, another form of misogyny. It's like, that's not appropriate to say. It's not appropriate to say at all. It doesn't matter whether you think it's positive or not. Judging a person on their appearance is not appropriate. Simon, is that another? Is that another one of your little tall tales? Tell me again about that. Get a drink. Good idea. <laughs> oh, see Chester, thank you so much. But. Honestly, yeah, you know, but judging judging people by their parents, whether you say it's positive or negatively, is not it's not appropriate. It it, it puts especially if you it, especially when they're not even here. <laughs> okay. 
Look here, bro. Yeah, you know what? She really is feeling it. You know, one of the things you guys were saying that makes the net feel good is streaming. She loves coming on here. She, I mean, she loves talking to you guys. In fact, that's why I'm working on setting this thing up so that some of you not, I mean, I'm not going to open it up because last night, I mean, we almost got, we almost got porn bombed by LC Winadress. <laughs> and so I found out later. No, I'm seriously. So, um, so what we're going to do is instead, oh, is Joy, is there's mouth noises? Is, it, is, is, it net, is Joy sleeping now? Let's, let's see if she's available. Oh, what's Joy doing? Oh, there she is. Joy's doing Joy stuff. Okay, well, let's, let's take a look and see what Joy's up to, huh? Joy, 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 Joy. Get this one set up over here. Have you guys ever used this open broadcast software stuff? It's pretty cool. Gives you a lot of flexibility in your streams. If there are any creators out there, Gaming Fairy, if you're are you around, what do you use? Do you remember what you use? Oh yeah, Joy Joy's cleaning. She's she's using the Bissell. You know how like you know how in the movies, like somehow, the media has convinced us like like they show a guy they get that's getting the wife a vacuum cleaner, like a really nice vacuum cleaner for her birthday, and then of course the joke is that's a terrible gift. Like why would you get your wife a vacuum cleaner, right? And then and you have to get her diamonds or some some jewelry or take her on some fancy trip. Joy would not want diamonds. I guarantee you. Well, first of all, she doesn't want diamonds, period. Jewelry, she has, she's like, she's just not, that's not what she's into. I'll tell you what. Abyssal vacuum cleaner? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I might as well have flown her on a private jet to Paris for dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just that's, oh, my God, I love this thing. The Abyssal, it's one of the best. I, I mean, listen... <laughs> No, it's not just because we sell them. I mean, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying we sell the best shit. We, I mean, we use the shit we sell. Your grandpa smoked with you in that? Oh, man, I was just thinking about my grandparents today. Wow, I, I, was, really, I was really thinking about Yeah, it's a good gift. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad you feel that way. I thought, I, you know, I think that it should be coming back. I think especially as people become more like homebodies. Because, I mean, see... Back in the day, we worked, but there was no idea. Like there was, that concept of like being able to really be at home was not really an option. And, and people who worked at home, like me, see, I worked at home since the '90s. Like I was like a pioneer of that whole thing, so I'm very comfortable with it. But the people that worked at home, typically, like me, were travelers. We traveled a lot, so like a bone yeah, yeah. See, it's, it's <laughs> That's cute. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I need. I, and just, then also just I need this guy. Do I have a cord in here for this thing? Do I have one of those? Oh, I probably okay. do. I think I do though. Don't oh. I have one? I it's have just a extra. regular. Oh, this is it. But it's just a little bit short. I have an extra long one. I need. Mean, I need a light in this room. I have a light. Gemini is beautiful, and she's really cool, you guys. I, mean, I have a long one. We don't get along, but but I but I will I will admit. Yeah, give me a long one. I will. Um, but I will definitely. I mean, I mean, why would I talk shit about somebody who's cool? You know, I mean, she is cool. She's a nice person. We just don't get along. Hi, Joy. Okay, yeah. So we got Casper Cam. I like the Casper yeah, Cam. That's gonna, great. Gonna, I love that. But then I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna sleep. Okay. So what do we have? What do we have that we can make? Cook? Eat? Oh, we have um, three pounds of beef. Three pounds of beef. Anything else like a... 
eggs or anything? Yeah, eggs. I would love some be- uh, so, uh, steak and eggs. Yeah, steak and eggs. We don't have those. Oh, oh that steak. That, yeah, I got that one three percent off. Yeah, that five dollar steak. steak. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or do you think I should have the beef? Uh, whatever you want. You want me to make it for you real quick? Mm, I don't yeah, know. I'm kind of hungry. Okay. I'm kind of hungry, but not really. You can go to bed. No, I'm ready. I'm pretty hungry. I don't know. Do you want the steak and eggs? Yeah. Steak and eggs. I don't know. I probably could do without it. All right. Josh, Joy doesn't. Do, Joy won't even do aspirin, man. I mean, she is so anti-pharmaceuticals. It is. It is ridiculous. You saw she freaks out about caffeine. Uh, stream Streamlabs costs for X. Yeah, it's like it's like a uh, it's like one of those apps you buy. It's like ten bucks a month, and then you can do like overlays and things like this. It's pretty cool. Send it, send it on, man. Send it on. Jenny Lee is also very beautiful. Yes, she is beautiful. We don't get along either. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And Jenny Lee are both very, very cool and beautiful women. I won't say anything bad about them. Um, and however, however, they don't like me, but still, I'm dark crinkle. Junkie Jenny Joy. Yeah, right. The Joy is like the like the most so she like wakes up every day at like three a.m., four a.m., starts doing laundry, cleaning, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Can you guys hear that TV? I'm like shouting over Gloria's TV. Do you guys hear that? <sighs> Everyone loves Casper. Yeah, man, send the drug test anytime you guys want to do it. But if you keep yapping and, and bullshitting, then it's fine. You're going to get timed out because we're tired of you guys just saying that shit. What a vibe tonight. What do you mean? Like, is it a good vibe? Fortune cookie, fill me in. What kind of vibe is it tonight? Hey man, we got we got some viewers on X too. That's pretty cool. I have to pay attention over there for a minute. Hey X, how's it going? I'm gonna say hi to you guys over there on this. I, I don't know if if the if the chats show up on both. Can you guys hear that TV back there? Let me know if you guys see that come through. Oh, you guys don't see any chat now. I just got a really good idea. I can I can airplay what's going on here over there from this phone. Come on.
Okay. Hey, check it out. Joy's gonna Joy's gonna cook in the kitchen, so I set it up. I set it up so she's monitoring this, so she's able to see it better. I, it's just cool. It's just little stuff like this that just really makes. This has just been a really great chat, you guys. I've got a lot out of it. Yeah, I've had such a great time. Yeah, Gemini, I, I tend to have the ability to bring people together. I've always done that throughout my entire life. I've always been able to bring people together. That's been, that's actually how I made money, is that I would introduce people, I'd say here, you go here, and you go there. And that was my big skill that I had. And and I did, I've done it since high school. I, I brought the stoners with the jocks together, you know what I mean? The cheerleaders with the party girls, you know? It's like, it's like, never mind. <laughs> Cheerleaders were party girls. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to talk about. So I'm glad you guys find. You know, it's like I just have a way of of, of uniting people. We should call it sink beef for short. Sink beef. I like that. That's a great idea. Weaponized cat. Are you a writer or a wordsmith or anything like that? That that's that's pretty creative. I like that. I like I like creativity. It's really nice. It's really nice to get some good creativity going. So it seems like you guys are really digging this format, just so you know. I don't know if you guys know that. You guys seem to really like this format. Because the average view dur duration today is one of the highest we've had. It's like 11 minutes, which is really long. People sitting here for an average for 11 minutes at a time. So I guess you guys like this format. Is that is that what I'm gathering? Hey guys, hey Sunshine Girl, how are you? Josh, I hope all of you women and have a wonderful evening morning. Depending on where you reside as well, we gotta pack my bags, head down bay. I work for Cal Fire. Okay, Josh, you have a good one, man. Be safe, bro. I know that we hate each other, but listen, you have a dangerous job, and I don't care we hate each other. Just be safe. All right. Fortune cookie. How's the vibe? 11 minutes is, it is a long time. LC, you, listen, you make fun of me, but, but you see, you don't understand. You're used to hanging out with like people like like you know Randy and all the people that just have been here for years and they've got like thousands of views and they make they probably make like ten grand a month here. I mean, I'm new. I've only been here for like less than six months, so I don't even know how this software works. I don't know how algorithm. I don't even know. I don't even know the terminology yet. So for me, yeah, eleven minutes. That's a long time. Ha. Uh... All right, all right, all right. Hey, Beth, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I tend to do that. I've been here for 11 minutes. This vibe is so vibey. You keep saying that. Please fill me in. What do you mean by this vibe is so like the vibe tonight? Like, like what do you mean? How is it different than other nights? And okay, good. Okay, we're gonna go. We're we're, we're gonna do bathroom cooking now. So let me let me adjust the screen here so we can make sure we can we get all the cooking in its entirety. I'm gonna change this, make this smaller, get the chat out of the way, so that way you guys can can get the full cooking experience. Does that sound alright? Yeah, I think it sounds good.
There she is. She's pretty excited. She's gonna make me a stand. I should just, I'm, okay, I'm gonna turn her mic on because this, this, this is gonna drive me crazy if she does it. If she's gonna do a silent movie all night. <laughs> she's gonna do a silent movie and we're gonna play charades. We have to change it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Silent movie playing charades. I'm turning on her microphone. Can you guys hear Gloria's TV okay? Hi, Kristen. They're good. Can you hear Gloria's TV? Richard, you you commemorate while Joy cooks. Yes, I do. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Hi, everyone. Hi, Weaponized Cat. What am I, though? I'm not a cheerleader. I don't know. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Let's get a let's get a vibey sound out of the room. What do you say? Can you hear how loud this is? It's fucking ridiculous. good doesn't it it's getting there yeah i know it's a little old joy i know it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> okay, okay. It's, it's an editor's special so put put extra salt on it i know it's just it's, it's ground i almost dropped it on the floor and then we would have done Ugh. we're gonna put extra sea salt yeah it's just already brown Yeah, I know, but it was kind of funny though, Chester. Did you hear how Gemini, as much as she loves Annette, she says she wants this channel to end, right? What does that mean to you? I mean, like, like how would you take that? Like, like here, I'm, I'm working very hard to build this channel up. Gemini Mama is working very hard to make this channel end. Now, do you see my issue I have with people like Gemini Mama? She's so jealous of what we're doing here. She has to come in here and she spends most of her days on other channels trying to trying to destroy this channel. So I understand what you're saying, but as you as if you, you want me to be positive, people, she literally came in here said, "Oh, that's why I want this channel to end." And so and she says, "So many people want it to end." Gotta season it up. Kelbride, no. Jared is, is a troll and is it's just another lie. He's talking about one of the hate channels. No, of course it's not really the right. It's just a lie he's making up. She was. She was one of my supporters for a biggest time, but, but she kind of wasn't. You see, what I learned was, is the people that supported us, they, they, they jumped on right away. Like the first week when he blew up and he had like 5,000 subscribers. Anti-hero. But then, they, like she was writing like nasty stuff okay. to me all the time. She wasn't, it was like, it was, I don't know, it, it, have you ever heard of what's called a frenemy? 
The problem is, is that when you have people that you don't even know, close to you, and she doesn't know me, and she thinks that she likes me, I am so different, we are so different. I mean, like it wouldn't even make sense. So of course, she doesn't like me, but she pretended to like me, and that's my problem I have with her. Now, all she wants to do is end the channel. Now, it's one thing not to like me, but I don't go out around trying to make Gemini lose her job. I don't like like do shit that like like dig up her past and contact her employer and do all this weird shit. Well, that's the shit that Gemini does. So I have a real issue with it. said right now, Gemini, you said, I want this channel to end. You said, see Chester. You literally wrote to Chester, trying to convert her to make her also want this channel to end, to work out and go out and do, and do stuff that make this channel end. You tried to convince her and she said, no, no, because I would like to see them heal and get better and I want to see them survive. She disagreed with you on wanting it to end. Right, and so you, so you're, so the reason why why we're at odds is because deep down inside, you can't tell me, like one day you just decided you wanted to make it your life's mission to end, Annette's joy, my wife Gloria's channel here on on YouTube. You can't tell me you just came up with that because I said something offensive to you. No, you've been out here every single day trying to bring down the channel. You literally tried to turn Chester against me, and maybe you did. I don't know. See, that's why. That's why, you know, I'm a little bit, like, you know, schizo. Jared, please refrain from using foul language. Dark Uncle, of course you like Gemini. Gemini, please refrain from using foul language. See now, what Gemini is doing, not only did she slut shame my wife, but now she's age shaming me. Do you see the kind of person Gemini is? Can you see why I wouldn't want to be friends with somebody who basically is making fun of me for my age? See, I pick up on little little things like that. And, and, and what I do for a job is that you pick up on misogynist, racist, and ageist. See, she's picking up on my appearance. She's picking on me how old I am. I mean, those are things I cannot control. But that's what she's insulting me on. And so that should tell you everything you need to know about Gemini. And if you, if those, and I know a lot of you bond with her because a lot of you are like that. I mean, there are more people like Gemini than there are like me and Joy. That's why the world is, is well, as you guys say, it's going to hell in the handbasket. So as Joy and I try to spread positivity and bring, bring change and try to adapt to people, you see the viciousness you get from people like Gemini. Gemini wants to destroy the HFF, and and I'm not I'm not gonna let her do it. She she literally she's so jealous of Joy. She I mean she really is. I mean why else why else would she be here trying to destroy the channel? I mean she's in here trying. I mean we have a supporter named Chester, and she's trying to convince Chester to bring down the channel with her and Tiffany and and all those other people. By the way, they tried to hack in my computer. I literally after I mentioned that thing, I literally got another email saying, Oh, here's the new link. After I called out Tiffany and, and Amanda and now I guess Gemini for trying to hack into the computer here.
How's it going in there? Yeah, Absolutely. Hey, Moonlight! <coughs> Welcome. We, we got on early tonight. We've been on all night. Yeah. Um, I would say the amount of emojis that Gemini just said, like that, see, psychology, Gemini, I, I mean, psychology is not your thing, Gem. But just so you know, psychology is my thing. And a lot of people. And the fact that you got so triggered by me saying that you're jealous, and then all those emojis that literally triggered this dream bot, bot to tell you to chill out on the jealous comment tells us that's exactly right, that you're jealous. You just confirmed it for everybody in the room. Uh, Ge Gemini, listen. Now, some things in life are bad. They can make you really mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. So when you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this will help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, you know what? There needs to be more whistling in songs, don't you think? They used to whistle a lot on songs. I haven't my heard a good whistle. Huh? I think they like whistle. My dad's a whistler. Your dad's a whistler? Oh, big time. We need more whistling. My dad's a huge whistler. <laughs> it's okay. I we, can't whistle at all. It, it's fine. It's just a streamlapsed body. He just kind of freaks out sometimes. Jared, are you lying again? Are you married or not? You can't see your emojis? Why not, Chester? I'm average, I'm excited, I'm having a steak. Yeah, let's check it out. I don't know how to Okay, I'll hold on guys, I'm gonna check out the steak real quick, okay? Yeah, blue, yeah, Jared, you hear that? You see. Why don't know if it's if it's I think it looks great. I think it looks fantastic. What do you guys think? I'm super excited for it. Jared, please refrain from using profanity in the room. Wait. Please refrain. Oh, please refrain from using foul language. I'm kind of starving, but it's late. I know. I know it's late too. I told you it's coming, Jet. I told you. Good night, fortune cookie. See you around. Okay, we'll see you later, fortune cookie. Moonlight, what are you going to have for dinner tonight?
Jerry <laughs> refrain. Yeah, definitely gonna get stuff to cook tomorrow. Me too. I think it's not like a good idea. You can't see the emojis? Oh. What if you can see these? Can you see them from Twitch? I'm gonna send these from Twitch, see if you see these. <laughs> she cracks me up. Oh, those eggs look good, don't they? Oh, that looks bomb. That looks good. Yeah, I figured you and Dark Hunk, I figured you and you and Gemini would be buddies. I'm having some popcorn. Fighting eating a bit hard today. Went went through some last night. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're here. What do you think about the new setup? We went kind of complicated today. We got like two cameras. Joy's cooking in there. I think Dark Uncle might be drunk, if I'm not mistaken. He's acting kind of out of sorts. He's usually weird, but he's really acting weird today. I have a box of crackers and peanut butter. The sleep, sleepiness is real. Man, I'm getting hungry here. Yeah, we've got about 30, the truth, the truth about what? That, oh, that we didn't actually save my sister? That we're not actually making dinner? That we didn't actually lose 175 pounds? Truth about what? Truth about that like, you want to smear us? That's nice. Fair enough, Cal. Man, I like, I love, I love simple meals like that. Crackers and peanut butter sounds delicious. I would, I would be more worried about Dark Uncle's channel and and I the Christy, honestly. I ain't gonna fire Streamlabs, man. It's, it's Streamlabs. Jared, after you and I broke up, Streamlabs is my is, is going to be my only friends now. That's my next. My only friend is going to be a computer. Like when we broke up, it was like worse than like Night of the Roxbury, when Will Ferrell and, and what's his name broke up. That's just the way it went down. So, except we, except we didn't have a happy ending, or maybe we did. I don't know. It's not really over yet. I guess we're still here. Yeah, I hear you on that. I, I get so... Hey, Jared, I, 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 would, I would love to blame... <laughs> the thing, thing, about, thing about haters is is that we can all... They, like, like, if we bond together, like Jared and I could be friends if we suddenly hate blue tea together. <laughs> Am I right, Jared? <laughs> oh, no, man. She's, she's healthy. She's very healthy way. I love tabbouleh too. You know who else loves tabbouleh is Joy. Actually, I don't like tabbouleh. Joy likes tabbouleh. 
I, I, I like Jubilee a little bit. I don't know if this meat's going to be funky. Yay! Is that it? Yeah, no, I'm not sure if the meat's going to be funky. Yeah, let's check it out. I'll try it out. If it's funky, I'm not eating it. But I need a little something. Look at this. Oh, that looks good. Look at this, you guys. Look what I'm having. Steak <laughs> and eggs. I don't know if the meat's funky, though. Eggs, steak, and beef. Eggs, steak, and beef. Hey, Charles. If that's funky, let No! Me... It's awesome. Yeah. I love garlic hummus. Like I'm having egg. This this is a listen. Chill, um, Moonlight, what did you have for dinner last night? You're feeling a little bit down. I'm saying that my my solution for, for depression and, and mood disorders is you're right. Egg, steak, and beef. Do protein, man. Don't do any, don't do no carbs or sugar. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what works for me. I know it sounds like I'm telling you what to do, but I'm not. I'm, not telling you. I'm just saying what I did. Mmm. Eggs, steak, and beef. Mmm. <laughs> I love farting. Come on, who doesn't love a good fart? I mean, let's be honest. It's us some real talk right now. These napkins are so nice. I haven't had a napkin like this in years. It was great. Thank you. Thank you, uh, anonymous donor, for the napkins. Joy's on a period right now. So there's a very good chance that she is sad. She was crying earlier. She was crying right before we started the right before we started the stream. And I asked her what's wrong. She said, I'm just I'm just feeling sad. So, very good observation, whoever said that. But now she's not. Now she's feeling a little better. You had Greek salad and nuts. Oh, right, I remember. That should be pretty healthy, but... Hmm. Yeah, don't listen. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes... Sometimes there's, there's just shit you can't cure, you know? There's just shit you can't deal with. Really good meal. Blue Jay! Mm. Thank you, Charles. Just so you guys know, Charles isn't particularly a supporter. But she's sending nice vibes. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, cash out me 20 bucks. I will do it right now, I swear. <laughs> you know that. You know that. No, I probably would. Don't, don't, don't do it, dear. I'm just kidding. 
Because I'll probably end up, I need to, Dr. Uncle, you need to mind your own business. Listen, Dr. Uncle, I don't know who you are, I don't know how old you are, but I'm guessing you're probably in your 70s. That's what I, my guess is, the way you act and the way you write. So good. This is a great meal, by the way. Steak and eggs. Okay. Jared, I know we don't see eye to eye. And blue tea, we probably don't either. And dark uncle, I know we don't. But I think we all agree that eggs, steak, and beef is going to be the next hit because it is probably the best meal you can do. Eggs, steak, and beef. I know. I know steak. It is the same as beef, but not really. Because we're talking about like ground beef, I think, when we say beef. So when we say steak, we're, we mean steak, not like chuck roast or ground beef. We mean steak. 100% Moonlight is so good to be kind. I agree with that. Hi, Chi Chester. I'm so glad you're still here. Stop playing with me a hater. Okay, I will. Man, Chinese broccoli, yeah. Um, my mom's favorite food is beef and broccoli when it comes to Chinese food. Dark Uncle, stay away from my mom. Dark Uncle's trying to date my mom now. You know what I wasn't how to do? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to play games. You guys want to do games? Hi, Diane C. How are you? <coughs> Hi, Diane C. How are you? I know I hear that moonlight. I know I'm not trying to get. I didn't want to really. I sense that. I know I'm feeling a little depressed myself too. You know, I have a theory that like depression on this planet right now, like the way the world is, is completely normal. Is a normal response. Hey, look what we're watching on TV over there. It looks like we're watching the healthy, the Jedi Joy Rich show.
Keep it up. It's a good sign, Rich. Your viewers will appreciate your respecting glory and call your mom. All right. I'm just doing what I feel, man. I'm not doing it for the viewers. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm just doing what I feel. <laughs> so if you like it, you it's just because I do. If you don't like it, this is what I feel. If you do like it, it's because I feel. So, <laughs> but I'm glad that, that you know. I know. I know what is more mainstream. It's like I'm not clueless to that. I could. I could fake all that. But I'm just telling you, I'm doing what I feel. But as you see, we're all getting better and better every day. Yeah, you guys like that. I hate people that stuck to you. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Blue G. Jared. Steph. Kelp and Streamlabs. Can you guys say something nice to, to uh, Moonlight? Serious. I mean, regardless of what you feel about me, Moonlight is having a bad episode right now, guys. So, Blue G. Jared. Stop for five seconds, just say something nice to her, okay? She's actually, you're gonna see her, she's gonna be down there in the, um, don't worry. She'll be right down there, she's, she's getting ready for bed right now. She's off camera, she's, she's changing. She's changing clothes into something. Something more, more comfortable. <laughs> Moonlight is a good dude. Hi, Moonlight. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Chels. Oh, you got music playing? Oh, shit. Play my sister's room. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think really kids get rough in here. Please take. Yeah, thank you, Chester. Well. Some people prefer that, but some people like to talk with them with each other. So we provide a variety. And you guys, we have a hundred. I don't know if you guys know this, but we have 115 viewers right now. I know you can only see what's on YouTube and Twitch, but we have we've got a bunch of viewers over here, so it's kind of exciting. Twitter doesn't engage much though yet. But it's building. Maybe they will start chatting. Mm -hmm. Feel free to chat, Twitter. Because we got another, like, we got 45 people in this room. Dark Uncle, you got an ad? You know, for people complaining about ads, you can always buy the premium. Use the code Jedi Rich Rocks. And you'll you'll get it for when you sign up. The thing about Jared is he's funny when he when he gets mad. <laughs> That's why I couldn't stay mad at him too long, because as he was insulting me, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I honestly have a feeling that, that if, if Jared and I were to bump into each other, we'd probably give each other a hug. Anybody not say that or admit it. 
But I would have cameras hidden around and we'd film it and, and he'd see it and I'd be like, Jared, see, hug me. Yeah, I probably, well, you know, I mean, that's definitely your opinion. But you see, the numbers are higher when Joy is on the stream. So there's that. <laughs> Now, my Twitter numbers are higher when I'm here. Like, we got 76 in this room here, one on Twitch, zero on TikTok. Let me double check TikTok real quick. Zero on TikTok. <laughs> one on TikTok, excuse me, one on TikTok. And then the rest to make up the 118 is on X. So I think that's kind of cool. Bell peppers with hummus. You're killing me here, guys. You guys have the best food. You know. You know what's really funny? Moonlight. <laughs> What cheered me up today? I wa I'm watching season one of, of Kath and Kim. <laughs> In fact, I can't wait to get off right now and go watch Kath and Kim. Okay, I'm going to bed now. Okay, good night, hon. You, you can put on Kath and, you can put on Kath and Kim if you want. Yeah, you know, we're working on that. Oh, it's right back. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That looks neat. You're like this. <laughs> Jared. Jared, your father? No, no, Jared. You missed it. You're always the father. Like you like Star Star Wars. See, that would have been a more interesting twist. You guys are fighting, just like Luke and, and Darth. Only to find out it's his dad. Wouldn't that be fucked up? <laughs> it's like my arch enemy. It's my dad. Oh, man. The psychology in this movie. It's too much. Yeah, Captain. You know Captain Kim stuff? Cool. Cool. Well, Heidi Ho was the one who turned me on to it. And I am just stuck with it. I, I, I can't. Every time I have a chance to watch TV, that's what comes on. I love that, <laughs> what they call those, those dippities, they call them dippities? They're like, they're basically like, like little, they're like, I think they're like wafers, they're dipped in chocolate. We have them here, they're like little Debbies, but they call them dippities, dippity somethings. <laughs> and she, and I think they hid the dippities in, behind the TV. <laughs> also, the other thing I love about it is that it's so 90s. I mean, think about it. Think about how cool it is that it's so 90s. It's like you get to see all this cool stuff all the time. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm rearranging. I'm making some changes. I'm making a quick change. As Joy gets ready for bed. What do you guys want me? Want me up here? Do you want more? Okay, Chels, do you want more? Do you want more Jedi Rich? Or, or how much Jedi Rich can you guys handle? I could do more Jedi Rich, but I feel like the red screen's kind of cool. Do we have any designers out there? Are there any any, any graphic designers? Help me out here. What, what's, what's coolest? Graphic design is a real thing. I would like to have been a graphic designer in like the 1800s. Would that have been kind of fun? Yeah. I like it up here. 
What did they call graphic designers in the 1800s? Like, what was that job called? Was that a, was that a printer or a printsmith? You're good there. Okay, we got it. Lizbeth, I'm coming to see you, honey. Jared B. Sonny Richard. Jared. If Blue Tea is my kid, I'd make them have an orphan. Ouch. <laughs> I'm kind of in, come on, who else is in, who else is not, <coughs> who isn't enjoying the Jared Blue Tea feud right now? Pretty soon, Jared's going to have a channel about Blue Tea. <laughs> He's going to do it with his wife. <laughs> the main game is to be the biggest... You should make Joy smaller. Okay. We'll make Joy smaller. We're taking Chell's advice today. Because it sounded logical to me. I mean, it, sound, it sounded logical. Since I'm the chatter. But, yeah, but if Joy was a, was a video game, we'd probably put her on big, right? And me small. And then this will make it more engaging is what, what Chels is trying to say. Now Chels, now Chels is a male, just so you guys know. And Chels is two people. Chels has a wife. I just found that out the other day when we were going to stream. But now, now we're not doing that because I saw something on Reddit that very much disturbed me. It was a ploy specifically aimed at this channel to come on and trick me into coming on and doing a live stream interview just to say nasty shit or porn bomb me in order to get the channel damaged. So that's now no longer an option unless it's somebody that we are um, very familiar with. And I hope you all can understand that that's how we feel. Oh, okay. Okay, is it look, looking better almost? Uh, where do you want to put this chat thing? Kind of cool, you guys. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing that we're live streaming and I'm changing all this stuff on your TVs right now. I mean, think about that. I mean, just little old me. I mean, I'm not like... You know... This isn't Skywalker Ranch. Hey guys, are you guys still getting commercials? Anybody? Anybody still getting commercials out there? Now my screen's all messed up. <laughs> now it looks terrible. Man. You have to, I know, you have to lay in front of your image. I, I will. But I want to make sure I'm big enough. I want to be the main... The main chatter. The host of the show. Do like this. And there, yeah, okay, I'll get there. Hold on, I'm gonna do this bigger though, hold on. So what's your job, Chels? Wait, are you, are you, are you a hobbyist on this stuff or are you, 
Do you do anything with graphic design or what's your deal? I'm more just curious. Okay. This guy can go here. Let's go above the view count. And then we'll put hers somewhere. Bam. Now we go down here to the other device. And we're gonna put that on top of the chat box. Like yay. Right. How's that? There you go. That's pretty much what you said, right? Now we got twenty four seven. Full screen yourself, pull Joy up in the corner. Okay, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. I was thinking the same thing. Let me full screen myself. This is pretty good though. I might just leave it though. Did that work for you? How's that other channel? You you were saying that other channel is having trouble with the new algorithm. Any any luck on getting you know getting better numbers? I'll sit over here. All right. Now that we got this all set up, let's go ahead and end the stream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right. Great job, guys. That was a great stream. I really enjoyed it. Good night. <laughs> Hold on. It's like reverse. I got, it's like the opposite of the way I want to go. This thing goes the opposite of where I want to be. There. Right there is where I want to be. Oh. Picking my teeth right now. Richard, is my wife? No, man. I don't think so. She, she's hanging out here. She has, she has a, a, she goes under a pseudo name. She, I think that she wants to be a journalist someday. And she's created herself a pseudo name, very similar to, uh, to Deep Throat. 